हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज प्लांटेशन एग्रीकल्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेजर क्रॉप्स प्लांटेशन चैलेंजेस गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव्स एंड वे फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Plantation agriculture is a form of farming that involves clearing large areas of forest land to plant a single type of crop in significant quantities primarily for market production. This type of agriculture is highly labor intensive and resource demanding. Characteristics are plantations are characterized by their large scale continuous cultivation fields. The crops grown on plantations also known as cash crops have a high market demand and fetch good prices these crops are perennial meaning they are cultivated over a long period and are typically processed before consumption plantation crops make a substantial contribution to the national economy due to their high return on investment now moving on to major crops plantation first is tea plantation it is a key beverage crop major contribution to indian agriculture Tea cultivation requires a temperature of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius and annual rainfall between 150 to 300 cm. The ideal soil for tea is deep, fertile and well drained, rich in humus and organic matter. India's major tree producing states include Assam, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh. Tea production is labor intensive and requires a significant amount of skilled labor for both cultivation and processing. Coffee plantation. Coffee thrives in temperatures ranging from 15 to 28 degrees Celsius and requires 150 to 250 cm of rainfall. It requires 15 to 28 degrees Celsius temperature, 150 to 250 cm rainfall. Suitable soil for coffee is well drained, deep and loamy. Its main varieties are Arabica and Robusta. India's Arabica coffee variety is renowned worldwide. Major producing states are Karnataka, largest Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Rubber plantation. Rubber requires temperatures above 25 degrees Celsius in a humid and moist climate with over 200 cm of rainfall. The optimal soil for rubber is rich and well drained alluvial soil. It is third largest natural rubber producer globally. The key state is Kerala followed by Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Rubber is a crucial industrial raw material such as tires and medical supplies. Areca nut that is betel nut. It is chewed with betel leaves construction and thatching. Areca nut thrives in tropical climates with temperatures between 15 to 35 degrees celsius and annual rainfall ranging from 200 to 300 cm it has significant cultural medicinal and economic importance in india india is the world's largest producer of areca nut the primary areca nut producing states are karnataka kerala and assam coconut coconut cultivation requires temperatures ranging from 25 to 35 degrees celsius and evenly distributed rainfall of 125 to 130 cm india ranks as the world's third largest producer of coconuts the coconut palm is versatile providing food drink and raw materials for various industries major coconut growing states include kerala tamil nadu karnataka andhra pradesh odisha maharashtra goa assam puducherry as well as the lakshadweep and andaman and nicobar islands coco coco was introduced to india in the early half of the last century with commercial cultivation beginning around 1970 it is commonly grown as a companion crop in irrigated coconut and areca nut gardens the main regions for coco cultivation are kerala karnataka tamil nadu and andhra pradesh cashew cashew cultivation is predominantly found along india's west and east coast Major cashew producing states include Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Now let's have a look at the challenges. Environmental impact. Large scale clearing of forest for plantations leads to deforestation, loss of biodiversity and disruption of ecosystems. Soil degradation. Continuous monoculture practices can lead to soil depletion, loss of fertility and increased vulnerability to erosion. 
pest and disease vulnerability monocultures are more susceptible to pest and diseases which can spread rapidly and cause significant crop damage labor issues plantation agriculture often relies on a large workforce raising concerns about labor rights fair wages and working conditions water usage high water demand for irrigation in plantation agriculture can lead to water scarcity and conflicts over water resources especially in arid regions chemical dependence heavy reliance on chemical fertilizers and pesticides can lead to environmental pollution and health hazards for workers and nearby communities market fluctuations dependence on a single crops makes plantation economies vulnerable to market price fluctuations and global trade dynamics climate change impact plantations especially those of crops like coffee and tea are highly sensitive to changes in climate impacting yield and quality sustainability concerns the long term sustainability of plantation agriculture is challenged by its ecological footprint and the need for more environmentally friendly practices now let's discuss about government initiatives national horticulture mission focused on improving the production and productivity of horticultural crops including plantation crops through various interventions pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana aims at enhancing water efficiency at the farm level through micro irrigation techniques benefiting plantation crops soil health card scheme provides farmers including plantation cultivators with soil health cards that give insights into soil health and guide them on appropriate nutrient management techniques pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana offers crop insurance to plantation farmers protecting them against unforeseen natural calamities and pest attacks and e nam that is national agriculture market an online trading platform for agriculture commodities including plantation crops aimed at creating a unified national market now lastly moving on to the way forward emphasize sustainable practices transition to sustainable farming methods like organic cultivation and agroforestry to preserve environmental health and ensure long term productivity boost research and innovation invest in research to develop resilient crop varieties and improve cultivation techniques adapting to changing environmental conditions and market demands promote crop diversity encourage the growth of a variety of crops within plantations to reduce dependency on single crops enhancing ecological balance and economic stability adapt to climate change implement climate resilient agricultural practices and develop infrastructure to mitigate the impacts of climate change on plantation crops enhance market connectivity and infrastructure improve transportation and storage facilities for plantation crops and leverage digital platforms for better market access and price realization for farmers now moving on to practice questions first of all prelims based question which of the following is a key requirement for tea cultivation low altitude and dry climate high altitude and humid climate constant temperatures year round or minimal water requirements and now mains question how can improvements in transportation and storage facilities coupled with the use of digital platforms enhance market connectivity and price realization for farmers in plantation agriculture so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching